Hello everyone, this is Emma and welcome to online video course Piano Well. This is lesson number 8 and we're working with training book that you can download for free as well as my other books on my website artofpianotechnique.com. The link is in description to this video. So let's open our book on page 34 and this is lesson 8 and the topic of this lesson articulations. Articulations are a variant of intonation. Students struggle with making accurate articulations as well as making accurate dynamics and balance. Um, for example, legata is not cantabile enough, uh, tenuta is not deep enough, staccata and accents are approximate or too sharp or too harsh or too soft. And again, plain articulations are very uncomfortable and it just brings more stiffness to hands. So the trick to make accurate articulations so it would be um, felt and sound natural is in connection articulations with intonation and weight. So um, I'm going to show you how you need to intonate articulations, different articulations. So the first one is legato, and legato is an um, original way of intonation with weight. Um, idea what I'm talking about, go back to lesson number three and watch that video. So now staccato is um, intonation with increasing of speed. So basically the first half of weight you sing with resistance and then you extremely speed up. You can just recall this um, I think it's it's a good actual analogy. You recall the feeling you have when a uh, race car is just like swimming in front of you, like so it would be and if I play it will sound this way. I can actually play a scale with staccato articulation and you will see how effortless it is and my hands will never get fatigued even though I'm in trade like play the whole day but um, I will play it in a second but the thing is that this uh, extreme acceleration of speed and intonation make fingers um, pre-feel the staccato touching and um, they start to exert before playing a note. So when I do when I do this I already feel this sensation in my fingers and that let me control fingers while playing staccato and avoid uh, these unnecessary movements of hand and fingers that sometimes students do to play staccato and they take a lot of energy and time and they only bring some stiffness like sometimes they play like with wrist or with fingers I don't know, it never worked with me, I don't know, maybe it works for you but what I'm actually doing I'm working inside so if you can see I never lift up my fingers and never lift up my uh, my hand okay let me show you I'm gonna play first in the slow tempo like a scale and the scale I will intonate Faster. 
intonating you gradually give more weight and that will bring freedom and weight to sound and create that long and deep uh, sound effect that we call tenuta uh, so that would sound this way anything um, and it doesn't it only brings more freedom to my hands so and the scale I would intonate this way and it will sound this way of staccato and tenuta because it's intonation with increasing weight and increasing uh, speed. So again the first half of the way you sing with resistance and then you extremely speed up and give more weight. And weight will bring full sounding to the accent and speed uh, will make accent be sharp enough so I'm gonna show you and if I play it sounds like this fast sometimes it reminds me like dogs barking <laughs> like this <laughs> but I know exactly what I'm doing so so I can also play the whole scale with this feeling um, the most important thing you know in my experience uh, one of the common mistakes students make when they increase weight they uh, decrease speed so don't do this because it would make your accent be softer we don't want this so far so the scale would uh, I would intonate this way Uh, 
again my hands always free and loose and uh, there is no harsh sound even though I make it quite energetic because I use weight while doing this um, yeah <laughs> okay and so after you master this technique you will be able to start actually very um, intonation of articulations depending on the style and composers because as you know accent by Beethoven or Chopin is quite different so if you need to make accent more delicate um, in this case you simply make it softer and and you you not speed up too much mm, I will explain so for example this is original accent that will make weight and speed will be suitable for beat horns accents. <laughs> but if we want to make it like shopping or for Mozart, that kind of style, then we not speed up too much, but we still make weight. And I would intonate it this way. Not this. This is too much, but a little bit less speed. And it will sound this way. More delicate. Like. And again, original one is. Um, and the same way with staccato, because we also need to vary staccato intonation depending on the style and character of music. And we also know the staccato with the slur uh, that we call non legato. And in this case, again, you make it softer and uh, you simply not speed up too much. So, again, original staccato, I would intonate and play. This non legata, I would intonate and play. And this kind of non legata that we may use in classical or baroque style. So that would be non legata and that would be staccato. And to make it more sharp, you speed up more. To make it more sound, more like non legato, you speed up less. And the last and actually very interesting thing that I've, I had to discover that when you start uh, internet articulations, you feel artic mm, how to say. You feel like articulations are no longer just shorter or louder notes, but it becomes natural part of your singing and it starts creating certain character of music. So when you uh, intonate articulations in the right way, it will let you feel the character of music. Okay, so let's come back to book, to my book. So page 34, and we have lesson 8, articulations. Alright, so uh, you have this table, right? And uh, with right hand, I wrote here second first, right? C, D. But I would suggest you to start with big interval, like maybe third or fourth, just because uh, the distance is bigger between notes and it's easy to, to feel intonation and 
to make some kind of articulations. So you want to start with third. And first you sing it on staccata. <clears throat> then you imagine interval and sound texture with movement to the right and play it while intonating in staccata. So you can repeat as many times as you want. Um, so basically this is the um, the core, how you make this e exercise. So then you can just come back to C, D and do the same. singing too high, I should probably sing here. Be sure that the first part of the way you still make with good resistance, so don't speed up from the beginning right away. Okay, so let's continue. Starting from a uh, second finger, then from third finger, from fourth finger, then you do the same with left hand, and um, with both hands. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of long, but I think I need to, I just want to show you more here how I sing. Because it's quite difficult to catch it in the first place. So you should listen to my singing more. Even though I may explain everything in words, it's better if you have uh, this clear idea in your, in your head how it sounds. Okay, so in the next assignment, uh, everything absolutely the same. You sing first with tenuta, and then you imagine sounds in sound texture, and you play while well intonating tenuta. Okay. backwards with left hand.
standing three marcata. We call it extendo, we call it sfarzando. starting from pianissima and with fortissima and then crescendo and then diminuendo and okay how to do imagine a, imagine a sequence of notes and sound texture so imagine it in timbre first then sound texture then in harmony of C major okay then in uh, marked dynamics which is pianissima Alright, and then just play the staccata. Okay, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, so here are the movements as an original left, right, left, right. Okay, first right hand. I'm gonna make it uh, pianissimo first. Imagine a sequence of notes in, uh, with both hands, in both hands and sound texture again, C major, pianissima, with movement right, left, and now imagine the right hand or left hand closer and play staccata. So, okay, let's make first time right hand closer. Mm, let me imagine first. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. Okay, let me show you fortissima. Again, right hand closer, then left hand closer. Okay. Simon 5, you do the same with tenuta, 
I'm not going to show you everything, just a little bit of piano first. articulations this way but this is the only right way how to make articulation so it would be comfortable for you to play it would be natural for you to play it would sound not it would it would sound very accurate like exactly how you want it to to sound <laughs> and um, everyone will be happy <laughs> Teachers will be just like, oh, I love this accent. Yes, you created a good character. <laughs> so go ahead, guys. Take your time. Let me know how it goes. Bye. See you in the next video.